Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. Or welcome back to my channel. I'm Rebecca from Artist Rebecca LS. And today is a sketchbook too. Woohoo! We finished sketchbook number six for 2021. Let's take a look. Okay guys, let's open it up and have a look. So, on the first page, we have um, just a made up little sketch using uh, um, the Pilot Colour Eno. And then we have this. You've seen most of them on my channel. So I'll go quiet and just flip the pages. We've started using the Tuscan Red uh, Color Rose Pencil and I have to say it's not my favorite. I find that the lead is harder than the blue and the red that I've tried so far. So maybe the next color. That's what I love having the whole set of the Color Rose Pencils. I can go through and see how each color behaves. And so far, though everybody has said how the Tuscan Red is so great, for me, I haven't found that. The blue and the red were softer and blended better. You can see, for example, here, it's not blended out. You've got smudges. It helps for the portraits, but, um, you know, it can add more texture. But I prefer being able to um, leave the marks myself deliberately and not have to kind of um, be happy <laughs> with marks would have been left behind by the pencil. I thought that came out quite good. Very Atkinson as Mr Bean. But I hadn't realised I, I had drawn them upside down so I have to keep turning my book around. I think there's a, a couple more upside down as well. A murder she wrote. And then this is a guy from the original A-Team, Hannibal. Coolio? I think it is, I'm not sure. <laughs> Again, I just did random searching on Google, sometimes for celebrities and other times just for uh, random portrait images because I'm like running out. <laughs> this is Murdoch from the 18, the original. Try to do Bruce Willis. This I tried to do Jennifer Aniston. That didn't come out so great. <laughs> and then an older Angela Lansbury of how she is kind of looking today. She's not looking like this, <laughs> but she's looking older than the portraits I've been doing. I think she... What was it? She's 98 years old, if my calculations are correct. Then I was trying to do like an old fashioned portrait. 
This was a younger Angela Lansbury. And then I've split into four per page. I thought this added more interest and coloured each background kind of differently. But again, it's still the Tuscan Red pencil. I was kind of losing detail. It's hard to explain because, I don't know, I was... I find with the red and the blue, you are able to get a more varied, um, is it tone and contrast and all the rest of it? Um, I could get darker tones, mid and lighter, much easier, and it was softer. That's what I found. I was trying to do bits from Everybody Loves Raymond, and then I did the Fonz from Happy Days, and the Father in Happy Days, this is David Tennant's Doctor Who. Um, then I tried to do Miss Honey. And then I tried to do Emma Watson. That really didn't come out. The girl that was Hermione Granger in Harry Potter. So this Miss Honey came out better than this one. And then the top one is supposed to be Piers Bronson. Bronson? Mm. Oh, then I tried doing Mira Byler. That came out better than my first one. And then this is Selena Gomez. Uh, Miss Honey from Matilda. This is uh, Peter Graves from the Mission Impossible TV series that was in the 60s. This was Al Pacino, possibly. And then this one is the 10th Doctor, who is my favourite Doctor Who of all time, is uh, David Tennant. He played it the best, I find. This is just random, and I was using the Pilot Colour Eno. Yeah, I was in pink um, for this one. I think, yeah, this is Monk. Didn't come out so great. From the TV show, Monk, the detective. And this came out nice. I think I mixed the Pilot Colour Eno and possibly a Biro. I think, possibly. And the same here. I tried to do Prince William up here and then Princess Catherine, his wife, <laughs> didn't come out so great. But then I think if I did it bigger, they would. So then I've gone for bigger. Um, I think these are just random people. But I was using my biros. Oh, upside down. So there we go, just a ab absent-minded sketch, and then here, from reference. And again, this is the same day as well, the 27th of June, I just haven't written, <laughs> but it was an absent-minded sketch. And then Matt Smith. The 11th Doctor Who on the 28th of June. This was also the 28th of June. This is just a reference. And then also the 28th and with an E from that TV show. And then, oh, I tried to do Marty McFly from Back to the Future, but the angle, that's the angle it was at. And I, I lost a lot of likeness with that. And then we finish with Merlin. I was really pleased how this one came out from the TV show. If you're not sure about it, go over to my sister channel, Drawing with French Toast. That's my new sister channel, in case you've forgotten or you didn't know. I have a sister channel. And if you um, look at my description, the video, the info below this video, uh, there will be a link to my sister channel. And on there, we just draw portraits. We just draw and sketch. It's not just portraits, but we'll be drawing and sketching a lot more over there. Whereas here, we do any kind of art. So with that said, guys, I finished this sketchbook on June the 28th, 2021. So thanks for watching, guys. A new sketchbook is going to be coming very soon. 
could be on my sister channel, could be on this one. So keep watching on both so that you don't miss out. And I'll catch you really soon. Take care. Bye.